Before Paul went to Jerusalem, a believer with the gift of prophecy came to Paul and warned him that if he went to Jerusalem, he would be captured and bound. So the people who heard this begged Paul not to go to Jerusalem. They wanted Paul to be free, not stuck in some prison. Paul's response was, so what? I'm ready not only to be imprisoned, but to die for Jesus. And we know that Paul meant what he said, because he had already experienced many hardships, yet remained faithful to God. He wasn't backing down. For Paul to say at this point that he was willing to go to prison again and even to die for Jesus, it wasn't some lighthearted theoretical commitment. Paul knew what was at stake, and he was willing to endure it. What makes a person willing to die for something? Because as believers, we often say that we're willing to die for Jesus. But few of us, at least in the society that I live in, will ever truly have to make that decision. And I wonder how many would truly make that decision if that's truly a decision they had to make. Yet we're given the opportunity every day to either live for ourselves or to die to ourselves and live for Christ. And most who profess Christ continue to live their own lives, how they please, without really giving up anything but a couple hours a week to go to church. We can hardly call that dying to self. So what makes a person willing to die for something? Was Paul merely that great of a person? That self-sacrificing? That fool? I don't think it was any of these things. In fact, I don't think the key factor is Paul's personality or attitudes at all. What makes us willing to die for something is when that something is worth dying for, worth giving everything for. Jesus is our Lord, our Savior, our everything. And if we realize how great he is, we too would be willing to die for the name of Jesus. God bless you and see you tomorrow.